Mikko Meyer arrived in Moscow in Sheremetyevo airport. He made the following uh, declaration. Nowadays, humankind is going through a, a historic moment. We're moving from competition to, to cooperation. One of the chief conditions here is the respect of human rights and the recognition of the, of the existence of different colors, cu cultures. We need to understand each other, to be able to live together with each other, and we need for this to be able to respect others, each other's culture. That's the first thing I wanted to say today on the day when we are honoring human rights. Human rights are becoming more important than our everyday problems. This has to do not only with us, but with future generations, and future generations are everything. This is uh, uh, important uh, that we take, uh, take into account the interests of our children and our grandchildren. We need to respect the rights of other peoples and likewise the rights of future generations. Incidentally, this question will be discussed likewise in Moss in Washington, where the second stage or of negotiations have begun on the Near East. The negotiations are taking place in an in unusual fashion. And, and as much as Tel Aviv is insisting on bilateral meetings, in the State Department today, they are meeting in three separate rooms. In one room, the Israelis will meet with the Syrians, another with the Le in, with, the, uh, with Lebanon, and in the third room, they will meet with the joint uh, Palestinian-Jordan delegations, and they will enter into th through three separate entrances. And all of the American host satisfied the Israeli uh, requirements. Mr. Shamir is still unhappy that the negotiations are taking place in Washington and insists that the negotiations be transferred later on, to, uh, later uh, to the Middle East, uh, perhaps to Damascus or Jerusalem. But the Palestinians want to stay in the American capital at least until some progress has been achieved. This is not simply a question of procedure. There are very important political considerations here. The Arabs do not want to go to Jerusalem in as much as this would be a sort of de facto recognition of Israel, Israel's occupation. They also fear that if they move away from Washington, international interest will decline and Israel might be, put, be able to put pressure on individual Arab uh, countries. Much will be decided by today's discussions. The Israelis have, known, have stated they wish to give to the Palestinians broad autonomy. The Secretary of Defense, Mr. Richard Cheney, visited uh, Hungary at a press conference which was conducted by Cheney and his uh, uh, Hungarian colleague, Lajos Führer. It was stated that Hungary reminded that Hungary was the first country that, in, that, this, that spoke for an expanded role for NATO. This is the first time that an American Secretary of Defense has visited Hungary. In the uh, words of the hosts, uh, the, um, both ministers expressed concern with the events in Yugoslavia. The Hungarians are, 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 for this reason, interested in improving their military forces. The fighters, uh, the tank T, the T-10, and the helicopters are, all persons in our country are highly appreciated, but they now have to be paid for in currency. And in addition, the Hungarians I have problems with their anti-air defenses. Uh, the embargo on Czechoslovakia, Hungary, and Poland, and Poland has been eliminated by the United States on military deliveries. The minister of Hungary a year ago said that we are alone. That's the price of our independence. Therefore, we have to cooperate with everyone and have uh, agreements with everyone, with uh, NATO, uh, with everybody else, with the devil, and with the angel. And just whom, I wonder, did the Hungarian uh, figure have in mind when he talked about the devil and the angel, and he, when he's talking about was he, when he's talking about our country? Here we have the trial in Romania of Romanian officials 
individuals who are accused of genocide uh, after the events of Timisoara in 89. The trial has lasted nearly two years. There are 23 members of the former government, uh, members of the Communist Party, the former secretary of the party, who was in charge of, of the army and internal affairs, and all, likewise the pro prosecutor who has been sentenced to 25 uh, years imprisonment and has been stripped of all honors. Uh, 16 members have been liberated and again and, uh, and released. These are disorders in Dhaka, in Bangladesh. The police used uh, tear gas against students who were rioting in the streets because one of, their, one of them had been arrested uh, on suspicion of murder. The students claim that this is a political arrest. On Israeli television, there was an interview with Abdel Karim Abed, who's one of the leaders of the pro Iranian Hezbollah, who was kidnapped in 89 by Israeli commandos in the south, south of Lebanon. Uh, the, uh, it was declared that, that no one would be released until Mr. Shulk Abed was, uh, while he was a prisoner. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sheikh Abdel Karim Ab Ab uh, Abed said he hoped to be released in exchange for a captured Israeli military fire pilot. The, uh, we have an, here Isaac Stern visiting our country. Here's an interview in Sharimetiva Airport. You haven't been to our country for 26 years. This is Mrs. Baranova, who is correspondent. Why were you so absent for so long? This was a political uh, consideration of the time. However, I don't consider it essential that we dwell upon that now. Now it's important that we are beginning to reestablish contacts. I know that certain musicians uh, changed their instrument. Uh, no, I, this is the same instrument that I played on when I was here the last time. So I think I and the instrument together are waiting for the opportunity to play once more in Moscow and St. Petersburg. We wish you all the best during your tour. All of Moscow is very much waiting for your performance. And here we have the sports section coming up. Hello, comrades. There's less than two months left before the Olympic Winter Games begin. Soviet athletes have been participating since 1952, and they've all always done quite well. And you yourselves understand how important the Olympic Games are. You could say that they determine the development of sports in many countries, and now the moment has come when our country is in a very difficult situation, and Soviet sports federations, uh, the state sport committee, uh, as a legal entity, has been eliminated, but you can understand that it is necessary that we continue to prepare for the Olympic Games. So today we find ourselves at an auction. It's an it's a unusual auction. And Rudolf Niezwiecki will tell us about this auction. You're very correct. This sounds crazy to call it an auction. We're not selling any teams. We are giving an opportunity to the young business companies in our uh, 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 in our country help out sport. It says so close to the Olympic Games, there's no money. And the committee, which was responsible for 40 years, is now uh, has been abolished. So we have approached businessmen, and I thank you for your presence. And we hope that uh, businessmen will understand that sport 
is a good form of advertising, and I hope that the, uh, everyone will understand our responsibility here. We might have to cut back, but uh, until our sportsmen perform, uh, are able to uh, uh, to participate in Barcelona, we don't consider that our organization has been abolished, and we want to help the people in our country share the joy in these Olympic Games. Our Olympic uh, movement uh, was short 50 million rubles, and now inflation has turned 50 million rubles into 100 million rubles. And so now we are asking businessmen that they gather together perhaps 10 to 15 million rubles and then continue this work, preserving uh, the, uh, the, uh, the preparation of our athletes. The first organizations to agree to participate were, were, were the organizations Gerakl, Teleglu, Infobank, Moscow Co-op Union, uh, the magazine Business uh, uh, World, uh, Dilovoy Mir gave 50,000 rubles, and Soviet Sport gave a half million rubles. So uh, the sports, sports structures uh, have been abolished. And this was discussed at the, Fed at the Republican uh, Federal Conference. And I am not afraid to uh, use uh, uh, very solemn words. This uh, sport is our national heritage. In the chess championship between Chizhov and Valneris, there has been another tie. This score is now 19-9 in favor of Chizhov, and he has to play only one more tie.